Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Fifteen minutes after seven, this is Tuesday morning, brought to you by Pennzoil, the motor oil that comes complete with its own additives, E7. Pennzoil, the motor oil worth asking for. I'm Charlie Wright, and for your information, today is May Day, May 1st, or Law Day as we refer to it here. In the United States, workers enjoy their special holiday on Labor Day, but in much of the rest of the world, May Day is the day. Millions of workers around the globe staging celebrations to mark this occasion. And one of the biggest, as usual, is in Moscow. About a million persons marched through Red Square before Soviet leaders early today. But, you know, every year in the past, it seems, we hear about the saber rattling and the tanks and the trucks and the, and the machinery and the ammunition. But not this year. That big May Day parade over in Russia was marked by a speech by the Soviet party chief Brezhnev who talked about the importance of peaceful relations with the rest of the world, particularly with the United States and Japan. I guess we have to talk about Watergate, don't we? The Watergate is so confused. Last night, the president claimed he did not know what was going on, that what he called a third-rate burglary a few months back is something much more serious now. Mr. Nixon promised justice will be served. Whatever may appear to have been the case before, Whatever improper activities may yet be discovered in connection with this whole sordid affair, I want the American people, I want you, to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that during my term as president, justice will be pursued fairly, fully, and impartially, no matter who is involved. But this morning, Republicans and Democrats in Washington are saying the justice would be a joke, really, if a party investigated itself. So Republican Charles Percy of Illinois is leading a move to force the president to name an outside prosecutor for Watergate. Take the matter out of the hands of the president's attorney general, Elliot Richardson. Senator Goldwater, the senior Goldwater, longtime friend of Mr. Nixon and longtime supporter, says he would expect impeachment if it is shown that the president knew or has been dishonest about the Watergate felony. The Gold, uh, Goldwater says he believes the president knew nothing about it. Washington in general is saying Mr. Nixon used a little too much rhetoric, too many appeals to patriotism, and didn't really tell what he knows about the Watergate bodies where they're buried. In effect, Mr. Nixon implicated one man, his former counsel, John Dean, whom he fired. After that speech, the president really surprised newsmen. He showed up in the White House press room, told reporters, go right on giving me hell when you think I'm doing wrong. In his speech, Mr. Nixon reversed a long-time distaste for the press, said the whole thing has come into the open thanks to a tough-minded judge, Judge John Sirica, and a vigorous, probing free press. Among the many newsmen who took the president's challenge seriously, columnist Jack Anderson, he says this morning the Nixon speech was a con job, a cover-up, a sidestep. Maybe the most stunning story related to Watergate has come out of Los Angeles. Uh, well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. A woman's life just isn't as sheltered as it used to be it becomes more complex and more independent. For example, more women today than ever before earn their own living, and more women buy their own cars. Auto mechanics tell us that women are learning a lot about caring for their cars, too. So it's no coincidence that today's woman asks for Pennzoil. She's too busy now to have to worry about car trouble, and she's discovered that one way to help keep her car's engine running smoothly is to use a quality motor oil, like Pennzoil. Pennzoil is refined from 100% pure Pennsylvania grade crude oil, and it already has a special additive, Z7, blended into every can, so she doesn't have to pay extra to buy one. All in all, a woman gets what she's asking for. When her car needs oil, a smart woman asks for Pennzoil. The judge in the Pentagon Papers trial here in Los Angeles says he was offered a new job. Right in the middle of all the trial of Daniel Ellsberg, Judge Matt Byrne met with the president and with John Ehrlichman at San Clemente, the meeting primarily with Ehrlichman, to talk about a new job offer for the judge as head of the FBI. 
Judge Burns said he, in open court yesterday that he turned the, the whole consideration down, just turned it down, told Ehrlichman it would be improper while he sat on the bench at the Pentagon trial. Judge didn't say so, but some critics locally are sniffing the wind, and they say the smell is really not good about this one. Ehrlichman is one of those now resigned in Washington, by the way. Well, enough of Watergate, he said. Let's talk about the post office. They took a, a, a true or false, well, I have a true or false test for you. This, these three stories were asked in a, in, a, in a survey that the post office took. And you can answer true or false to yourself. The first, the great majority of Americans today believe that mail service is excellent. Well, the post office says true. Number two, almost all Americans read their junk mail. Post office says true. Number three, 40% of all Americans, four out of 10, especially delighted to find sales announcements, store ads, coupons, catalogs in their mailboxes from day to day. Post office says true. Uh, the post office took a survey. They hired uh, uh, the Opinion Research Corporation out of New Jersey. The, the survey disclosed not only those three, but also the reason why a few noisy, irate people may have been complaining about slow mail service. One person in ten, according to the survey, ten percent, in other words, does not know his correct zip code. In sports, the Lakers host New York tonight in the opener of the NBA Best of Seven Playoff Series. L.A. took the same team in five games last year, remember, but New York beat them in seven games in 1970 for the title. This is for all of it. Lakers and the Knicks starting tonight here. Here's Don Richmond with a kiss of sports. Last week in Las Vegas, Scrap Iron Johnson knocked out Terry Sorrells in the fourth round of a heavyweight fight. But the heaviest action occurred between rounds one and two, when referee Mike Kaplan warned Sorrells about a low blow. Sorrells explained his case to Kaplan by punching him. The referee obviously took exception to this type of explanation and landed his own right to the boxer's jaw and then disqualified him. But after a ringside discussion with officials, the fight was allowed to continue. What could they possibly have discussed at ringside? Sorrell's previous record of no convictions for mugging? Or maybe the judges thought Sorrell's hit harder than the referee and so deserved another chance. Sorrell's lost the fight, Kaplan lost his cool, and boxing lost another battle, again the victim of a low blow. Don Richmond with a kiss of sports. Still 55 degrees downtown, and we're going to have sunshine with a high near 70 today, aren't we, child? Good morning. It's time to get out. The weather is cold, but there's clouds up there and the sun's coming out. It will be a good day. I'm going to play Hungry Lion, Hopper, and Liza, and Baby Lion. I'm going to be Liza Lion. Well, tell your parents, in case they've forgotten, that today is law day in the United States. The rights of all Americans depend on equal justice under the law. Today, we call it Law Day, May 1st, sponsored by the Los Angeles County Bar Association. That's Tuesday morning, brought to you by the Ask For Motor Oil Pennzoil. Remember, for your motorcycle, there's Pennzoil two-stroke and four-stroke motorcycle oils to give your motorcycle the special protection it needs. Ask for Pennzoil at quality dealers everywhere. This is Charlie Wright. This is Kiss. It's 724. This is Dave Diamond, and these are the Beach Boys. On my way to sunny California, on my 